Are you sure you want to do this? Hey guys, it's Quinn, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review. Um, I kind of wanted to start doing these little movie reviews because I've been seeing a lot more movies recently, and I think it would be a fun little addition to the channel. I love movies. They're kind of like a passion for me. Um, I went to film school for a year. I just, I really love movies. And I really love television. Um, and I really just want to start doing some of these if I see them, if I feel like the movie is worth it. That being said, the first movie we're going to review on the channel is Alien Romulus. This installment in the Alien franchise is directed by Fede Alvarez, uh, best known for his Evil Dead reboot that he did, as well as um, Don't Breathe, which I love both of those movies. I thought they were really good. And when I heard that Fede was going to be doing an uh, Alien movie way back, uh, I got really excited because Fede, I keep, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. I'm very sorry if it's wrong. I, I'm just going to get that out of the way now. Um, he's really good with like gross things. Um, it really has a way of just getting under your skin and it doesn't necessarily have to be the scariest way. Um, and I feel like he really pulled through with this movie in a way that like it rivals the top spots in the franchise for me. Um, Nothing will ever beat one. I love one with a passion. It's like one of the best horror movies ever made. Best movies ever made. Um, but the cinematography in this movie, the sound design, the creature design, every the, the effects, the practicality of it all. It was a fantastic movie. It felt like how Alien did in the sense it felt as like it also felt like a space exploration film. This felt like you were seeing the world of Alien, not just seeing the characters running from an alien. That makes sense. The acting was incredible. This movie stars, uh, I think her name, I think it's like Kaylee Spaney or something like Spaney. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. She killed it as the lead. I was invested pretty much from the start, but that's mainly because of the relationship she had with um, Andy the uh the the artificial person in this movie uh played by david johnson who i had never heard of before i have never seen him in anything i don't know where he's from i don't know if he's i don't even know if he's in anything else but the chemistry between the two when one is a human and one is a robot is off the charts they are they play the the brother sister duo so well um, but more so specifically, David Johnson, he should win an award for his acting in this movie. The the range that this man has in this movie is unmatched and it's just so well done and he deserves he deserves roles just to be thrown at him because this movie like I was drawn. I could not take my eyes off of him whenever he was on the screen. Every little like face quiver voice tremble everything was just so on point i i thought it was amazing there was a moment in that film when he straight up like when dave when when andy the robot he's he said one word and my draw basically just my my jaw basically just dropped to the floor he did such a good job i was with my mother my brother and my my mom's boyfriend's mom and my brother is not a movie person he just never really has been and he came out of that movie talking about how good that movie was and i was just i was surprised fede has such a great sense of how to build his atmosphere for his movie um it, this movie you walk you you start the movie in complete silence and it just the way the movie shot, the way you were witnessing events happening to lead into the film, it just sets up the movie so well. The sense of eerie dread that the first movie had. It just the environment, the ambiance, everything was so on par for an alien film. I, I genuinely think that this movie will be one that people remember for a long time. And I honestly hope that it is a movie that more directors more producers look at and see how to honor what started an amazing franchise 
but keep it fresh and keep it new. There were some crazy things happening in that movie. Crazy new ideas, fresh takes that just really worked. Like it just worked. At one point I had my ears covered because it was so silent that I was genuinely like, I didn't like, someone was behind me rustling popcorn and I wanted to smack it out of their hands because like, it was like that, it was like somehow quieter than a quiet place. Like it was, it was just so filled with tension in that theater. I could not have asked for a better modern alien movie. I really couldn't have. I, I genuinely think that this is going to be one of the best alien movies ever made. One of the best space movies ever made. It just was done so well and it was smart. There were things that were happening in this movie that really were just like smart. The characters, none of them were. There was like maybe one or two that I, the only gripes I had were there were maybe one or two characters that really got under my skin um, with some of the choices they made. And thinking about them right now just makes me want to like shrivel up and die. The writing was smart. The, the writing was intelligent. It didn't feel like a rushed Hollywood movie. It didn't feel like it, it didn't feel like it was an alien movie for the sake of being an alien movie, if that makes sense. It was really well done. And I really, really hope more people go see this movie. I really think that this movie deserves the same attention that the first alien got. I have so much respect for Fede Alvarez and the whole team on this movie. Everybody, every every actor brought their A game. Every actor sold their parts like they really crushed this movie. 10 out of 10 for me. Um, everyone should go see it. The, the ending, the last 25 to 30 minutes of this movie just broke my mind. So you guys really should go see this movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys for the next movie reaction, music reaction. Who knows? We'll see. Adios.